The men's ministry of Burnaby's Westminster Church is an active participant in many outreach programs with a mission to share the love of Jesus. They honor and respect the code of conduct of biblical truth. On Mother's Day, the mothers from the church and community were the recipients of such honor and respect. We have the latest in this story. The few vehicles at the parking lot signifies the brighter spirits of the men's ministry team who were glad to be a part of this special day. They started from the kitchen, then onto the dining table, expecting a full attendance for Sunday's event. Elder Leslie Hebert was busy preparing the food he brought for this event. He was happy to lead his team, getting everything ready at the dining hall for their 7th annual Mother's Day celebration. We do the food and um, the men, as I, as I probably should explain the food, the food is all done by the men. Um, well, that should be the case. I don't know if there are any cheaters, but uh, gen generally the food should be done by the men and that is emphasized by the men's ministry. And um, the catering is done entirely in terms of the service and all the rest of it is done and the setting up is done by the men. Tom Glatz, pastor of White Rock and Westminster churches, was happy to see the enthusiasm of the men who volunteered their time and the importance of this yearly uh, event. We, we as a church recognize our mothers have made such an amazing contribution to our physical, our emotional, our spiritual lives that uh, this is just one small way that we as a church uh, men in the church can say thank you mothers for all you've done for us. Uh, the mothers have always appreciated it. A lot of food and it's so good too. The well attended 7th annual Mother's Day brunch served delicious dishes and delicacies and it's all for free. Of course anything I don't have to cook is wonderful. Thank you so much to all the men for their work today. It was just a delightful meal. It was just like a spread that went like a semi-truck. The men prepared the food. It was really nice. Especially for the ethnic stuff because I enjoy taste, new tastes in my life. I appreciate the food that the guys made. It's really good. Ultimately impressed with the, uh, the way that they've prepared all this food and been able to get it out here in a timely fashion. <laughs> I think it's really, really good. And it's the best brunch that I ever go to. Excellent. I like it very much. And keep up the good work. It is amazing to see the morning appetite of this little child. Here are some of the greetings from the young people and from the little ones who attended the Mother's Day brunch at the dining hall of the Westminster Church. Hey, happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> happy Mother's Day! Hi, Mom! Um, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I love her. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. And Grandma. We really appreciate all the mothers in our lives. Do um, so much for us. Cook, clean, pick up your sweaty underwear off the ground. All these things every day. They, they do a lot of things behind the scenes that we don't really, like we can never really understand, right? Because I love my mom. She, she takes care of me. And stuff. Buy my clothes and groceries and stuff. We're talking about mothers of the church, people who have played that role for all of our children. A lot of children have benefited from the fact that we have um, people who mother them. The members of the men's ministry team did not just prepare and serve the food, but they also entertained the mothers with a beautiful song with lyrics rewritten by musician Joy Sisme. The head elder is extending an invitation to those who missed the 7th annual Mother's Day branch to come and join them in 2015. For On the Road, this is Manny Noel Abuel reporting.